This is the Dell Inspiron 137391, my newest acquisition, and, as with any laptop, one of the most important things about it is battery life. This features a 4-core, 8-thread Intel Core i7-10510U, and of course, if I'm going to be working all day with it, I'm going to be worried about saving power. Welcome to Linux for everyone, and welcome home. Hi, I'm Adnan Hadzik, and I'm the author of Auto CPU Freak or Auto CPU Freak Tool. The naming is open to interpretation. The first time I tried Linux was in '99, and the reason why I'm saying this is, well, I just said something about my age there. A lot of things have changed in Linux since then, but one thing uh, that hasn't changed is power optimization and in general CPU optimization. Now, this is a fantastic piece of software that is built to help manage your power on laptops. What's really fantastic about it is that it's one, very easy to install either with a snap or by using the installer script that's in the Git repo. It's very easy to enable and disable. And on top of that, it's very easy to see what's going on and what it's doing just by monitoring it with a system control status. So what's really, really cool about this is that in the short time that I've had my laptop so far, I've found two things. The first of which is that I do very much like the battery life of my laptop. It's rather impressive. It boasts a 52 watt hour battery and honestly it does incredibly well. However, there are some caveats. I'm running an Intel Core i7-510U, which is a 4 core 8 thread uh, i7, and it sips power. It really actually does well and it boosts up to 4.9 gigahertz. The thing is, it's also a 4K laptop. So there are multiple factors in terms of how battery life is going to be. The first of which is going to be when you're watching media, the reality of it is I typically have media defaults to the highest available resolution. So if I open a video on YouTube, it's probably going to be in 4K if that's available. And that is heavy on the CPU. And that is where Auto CPU Freak comes in. Of course, there are other tools for a CPU frequency scaling. Uh, but the problem with these tools is that most of them need to be configured. Even when they are configured, like some things need to be done manually and they still don't give you really the best of the both worlds. Some of them will give you amazing battery. For you to switch to performance mode, you need to uh, click a button or do something, which is not great for a regular user. I've noticed with my laptop that I can, in some cases, get up to a two hour gain in battery life over my traditional lifetime. Two hours is a very impressive margin, especially on something so small. And that's without having to change much. Last year I bought a new Lenovo X1 Carbon. And so that CPU was throttling, there is a project which is aiming to resolve this problem but it really didn't do, do anything for me. Also, the CPU frequency scaling tool, which I was using, was not working. Uh, my uh, CPU frequency was capped, even due to all the configuration. It was New Year's, I was off for seven days, and I said, I'm just gonna start hacking some things uh, together. My idea was to create this, it's automatic. So CPU speed and power opt optimizer for Linux, but this, the scaling, is happening on actively monitoring the CPU usage, uh, the system load, is the battery uh, charging or not, but ultimately to improve the battery life, but also not to compromise any system resources. For Linux users who run on laptops, this is a must. I think this is an absolutely awesome app, and in conjunction with TLP, which is how I use it, I think you're going to be seeing peak battery life pretty much all the time. In terms of install, there's a handy little script that you can get from the GitHub repo that will just handle the install or even uninstall for you with a simple I or an R. And then, of course, enabling it is just as easy. You can run the command and type install or remove to enable or disable it. There's also a snap for auto CPU free, which simplifies the process much, much further. Thank you, by the way, because personally, I love snaps. 
because I just like making things easier for users, and that includes myself. There is also a UR package for Arch Linux and Manjaro. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.